Welcome to a Twisted Sage tutorial on how to make the collar ring. These collar rings form fit and are customizable by you so that they fit properly. We used to create a heavier gauge collar ring, which we used to sell on the website, but as every body is different, they just were too thick for the average person to bend without tools. So we are using the 9.5 inch harmonizer ring, which is a rather potent ring, especially for the gauge. We will begin by learning how to pull the ring to create the oval so that we are not breaking the weld. And then we'll go through the fine points on form fitting this for yourself. The first step will be to find the weld. The weld is disguised rather well on these rings. Now we do have a lifetime guarantee on the welds of our tools, but you don't want to put a lot of undue pressure directly onto the weld. So how we begin with the first bend is we hold that weld point right there in our hands and get a good grip on the either side of the ring directly across from that weld. Now we're just going to pull, and as we pull, we will oval out this ring. And as we oval the ring out, just like that, that is the beginning. Now as you see, we've elongated the ring. Now then, we'll just keep bending this in just slightly at a time. I'll just put a little bit of pressure here with my thumb, bend that side in. Over here you can see where we've made it straighter here and where it's still curved here. Now we're going to bend a little bit of that curve out here as well to just make that more of a straight line. Now as we begin with this shape right here, we can keep playing with this to get just that little bit of um, almost that square edged right there. Next, we're going to put our thumbs, oh, I'd say approximately three or four inches out from that end. So as we hold it right there, we take it onto a hard surface and we just push down evenly and bend. As we begin to bend, as you see, we are beginning to create this. I'll show you what our finished product looks like. Our finished ring has a deep bend in it right here on this area and it is ovaled out right through here. In the front part we can either make it a little bit sharper here in the center or more of a swoop, more circular. That is just purely an aesthetic for you to play with. So here we go, we're just going to keep evenly applying pressure to bend this ring up. And we'll keep bending it in approximately the same spot. We will make a fine adjustments along the way so that we're creating this more of a flow in the bend, as you can see there. So now then from here, we're just going to start trying it on and seeing how it fits and feels. So let's move to our mannequin. Alright, so we'll see how it begins to fit. Now as you place the ring on, you'll be able to feel right there on your collars how it is sitting. We want to be able to balance how the part in the back catches right on the back side of you. So you don't want this back part to be digging in, but you want it to form fit so that it fits comfortably, as this one does, right onto the back. So as you see right here on the back side, it hangs perfectly, it doesn't poke in, and it's not pinching on your front and back. You'll be able to play with this until it gets to be comfortable for you. And it's something that you can adjust at all times, especially as you wear different clothes, 
coats, etc. Now let's keep bending the ring here for a moment and we'll see where we can get to. So this one when we tried it on the mannequin it still needed more of a of a bend to it. It was not quite sitting on the back of the neck. So here we go. We're just going to keep adding some bends to it. And again, it is okay to bend these anywhere without bending right on the weld. Again, we don't want to bend directly onto that weld point that is here. So you can also bend it between your fingers if you wish. And bend each side down just a little bit. Again, just little increments at a time. Try it back on to see how it begins to fit. And then once you get this back swoop so that it sits nicely right on your back, then we can work at forming the front side. Okay, here we go, trying this on. Now it's still, it is sitting nice and softly on the back and our front is raising up. So when you have this on you'll just kind of feel for where the high spot is. Let's see if you can see this here. So the back is sitting comfortably on the back but the front is raised up. So we'll find on either side where the collarbones are here and here where it needs more of a bend down in those two spots. So we just give that a slight bend, we bring it over, and actually that is sitting rather nicely. It's sitting on the front, it's putting even pressure right across the collar, and it's not pinching into the back. So from there, you'll be able to find that symmetry a little bit. You are welcome to create it narrower, by squeezing it in more, it just kind of depends on how it fits over your head. And then also how it's going to rest on your shoulders. It can be wide. Now this particular ring right here is mine. And you can see that it's a little bit wider there on this portion. This one I have that it fits just perfectly with me. And again, you'll be able to just keep playing with it and finding to where it rides perfectly. Now again, where I was talking about here on the front, you can make this more of a swoop through here, or it can be more of a point. Again, that is just going to be an aesthetic thing on how you like to wear it with more of a V coming in, not a sharp V, just more of a pronounced V, or if you would like it more of a swoop. So just keep adjusting until you find where it feels good for you. Okay, I do hope you enjoy utilizing your new collar ring.